Hello, I'd like to discuss and demonstrate Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle uh, can be stated as follows. As the speed of a fluid increases, the pressure decreases. And uh, conversely, as the speed of the fluid decreases, the pressure increases. Here I have a diagram of a pipeline with a fluid flowing through it. This could either be a liquid or a gas. And uh, we're going to assume that, uh, that the rate of flow is constant through this system. If we assume the rate of flow is constant, then that means where the uh, cross-sectional area is smaller, it has to move faster to get through. So we've got a low-velocity region, then a high-velocity region, then going back to a low-velocity region. Bernoulli's principle tells us that when we go from a low-velocity, high-pressure, to a higher velocity, that the pressure will drop to a low pressure. And then when we go back to a lower velocity, again, the pressure will increase. I'm going to demonstrate that with the help of this uh, tube here, where I'm going to blow some air through this tube, and we're going to see uh, that as we go from a, uh, from a uh, relatively low velocity, high pressure in this region, to a higher velocity, that the pressure will actually drop. And then over here, where the velocity drops, the pressure will increase again. So there's an inverse relationship between velocity and uh, pressure. We're going to measure the pressure with these manometer tubes. And if you watch the position of the liquid in this side of the tube, which is connected to, the, uh, to this part of the uh, flow tube, uh, we're going to see the pressure in here increase. So this level is going to go down. This one will come up. And uh, what you want to watch for over here is you want to watch for this level to actually rise. Not only will the pressure in here be less than the pressure here, it's actually going to be less than atmospheric pressure. Each of these tubes is open to the atmosphere on one end and connected to our flow tube on the other end. So we'll be able to see the relative pressure changes as the air flows through the tube. Let me demonstrate that. So once again, you can see that the pressure dropped in this region as the fluid changed from a low velocity to a high velocity, and then back to a low velocity again, where the pressure again increased. We see that's consistent with Bernoulli's equation here. Pressure plus one-half density times speed squared is a constant. And uh, where the uh, velocity is large, the pressure is small, and where the velocity is, is uh, small, the pressure is high, as described by these uh, two statements. Demonstrate that one more time. Watch the pressure change from this region to this region. It's going to go from high pressure to low pressure and back again to high pressure. Bernoulli's principle. 